Hi folks, Game Week here again, and we're back with the Black Death, and we are going to carry on talking about our houses and our sort of house tutorial. So I haven't done that much since you last saw me, uh, still playing on my private server, and I am still just uh, makes me, uh, gathering bits and bobs up, but that's all I've done. I've literally gathered up some supplies. So if I go to here, you can see that I've pretty much got that full, the rest of it, obviously not. Um... And apart from getting some bits and bobs supply-wise, that's that's all I've done. So now I've got food and drink and so on and so forth. Um, but nothing I didn't really have last time, apart from a bunch of stone ore. So what I want to do is talk about houses and nodes. Now, the houses currently appear to be a bit broken on the main branch of the game. That may well be fixed. It also may be something that doesn't exist. But my house on the server I play on finally just disappeared. Now, it's possible it got raided. Um, that said, my house had one, two, three gold doors you would have had to have got through, and they take ages, even with an iron mall or silver mall. And it would have had a garden here they would have had to have killed to have got to the workbench and picked. There's an option on here basically, it says clay, uh, destroy or something on there. So leave and destroy. Uh, to do that, they have to kill the guard behind that door. So there's no way to jump into this house at all, so they would have had to have gone through one door. There were two guards here, kill both of those, get that door, get that door, kill this guard, and then do it. Now, guards are easy to kill, don't get me wrong, that's not the point. The point is it's just extra stuff they have to do. And the time I was logged out for wasn't long at all, and I came back and my house was just gone. I don't believe it was physically possible to raid a house in that time, um, not with three gold doors. I think the three gold doors themselves would have taken about five minutes or so of constant hammering and it's possibly needing and i said multiple malls to go back and replace them all or go and get them fixed so i mean it is easy to get multiple malls don't get me wrong but all of that together i just wasn't logged off long enough anyway this house i actually thought had disappeared as well i logged in and it wasn't here um just the foundations but then i logged back off and logged back on and this one actually respawned in that's not happened on any of the other servers i've got houses Let's leave that alone. Let's move on with actual housing. So, houses have nodes. I've pointed these out before, so let's go into them in detail. The outside nodes only allow certain things. The inside nodes only allow certain things. Some can cross-pollinate. So, this one here is basically for guards. Different types of guards have different kinds of quotas to them of what you need to actually get them installed. Um, to be honest with you, you want to go for heavy guards because they ain't, they ain't difficult but if you've really only got a little bit of um, stuff going funds or whatever then go for one of the others the only real purpose to guards as i say is at this point because the ai is so terrible on them is to stop people just running in and destroying your house you have to have all peons that work for you dead so you can destroy a house so the more of them you got the just a bit longer you they have to you know stress their ways out you can have a guard there there and there the amount of nodes you have increases depending on the tier of your house this is the top tier house so that said if you have the opportunity to have guards the most important one is this one as long as you have a door here of some description all the other ones helpful but not that good so beyond that what else can we have outside well we can have these ones uh, this one here only has three options farmland which is pointless i will show you why there you go <laughs> everything is farmland well very good resource storage absolutely fine no problem with either of those being outside the well can go there a well can go here a well can go there i believe no no it can't oh it can yes um, and I think basically a well can go in any of these positions. Farmland, I also believe, can go in any of these positions. And um, storage can go in any of these positions. Now, this one here. Yeah. So all the rest can have what I would call the maximum amount of stuff on them. This one. This one. Uh, this one. 
this one i'm not sure about this one let's have a just double check yeah they can have anything on them that's sort of available outside facilities so let's have a look at the actual list so we can have farmland well and store resource storage fine all of them are fine but you wouldn't really want to waste one of these nodes with that they can have a farmer peasant um, that basically puts some farmland in anyway and a peasant that farms it basically gives you wheat every like day or so it will give you some more wheat which is fantastic you can also buy wheat seeds from the farmer and wheat from the farmer get one of those you don't have to worry about wheat ever again wheat is only is used as a currency to keep these sort of people although it doesn't seem to work that well at the moment um and it's used to buy these kind of people as well so you know they're handy a furnace this is used for smelting iron um gold and silver into ingots very handy anvil used for making um, anything into weapons basically pretty much workbench is used for making any uh, i think this is used for bows and things like that i also think it's used for the more advanced tools oven used for cooking bread i don't think there is maybe pies pies and bread i think that's it for them tannery um is used for making leather and also maybe for making leather clothing I'm not actually sure on that one loom is used for making the majority of clothing and cloth most mortar and pestle is used for um making stuff to do i think it's herbs and remedies churner is used for making butter i don't think there's any other reason for the churner but i don't actually know how to make butter because i've yet to get milk in the game and the stone mill is used for grinding um flour out and i think that's the only purpose for that so they're quite minimal in there what you can do with them uh, annoyingly as well they can only go um well they can go in a lot of places but they're so small they just don't make sense being outside um now the the mill used to have a bit more stuff around it but when you install it now it just looks a bit boring the churn is just like exactly like it looks in the picture that just sticking up tiny in there it looks a bit crap um the good they've got to make bread and bread is a really good food to make um so yeah i've also noticed some of them look a bit cooler outside than inside so there are ones that you can have in both places let me just eat some food and drink some water so weirdly and i don't know why campfires can only be indoors which is strange because i think a campfire outside would make sense and if you actually run around outside and find bandit camps you see campfires outside all the time so it doesn't make too much sense chests can also only be inside that makes a bit more sense uh, beds can only be inside that makes sense to me as well workbenches inside or outside resource storage inside or outside now in this particular bit i can only put certain things as you can see so there's only five options to put here uh, and you've got three so three of the five you can put here um so try to make sure you do basically putting it um these ones are more versatile and you can pretty much put a large amount of things in here um so you can put a tannery oven loom mortar and pestle uh and a workbench well you could do that in the other one i suppose now i will say one thing the tannery looks really nice outside it has loads of like additional stuff to it but that's the only one that does i believe i've not tried putting the workbench outside if i'm honest i've put an oven outside it looks as rubbish outside as it does inside i put a loom outside it looks no different i haven't put that outside so i couldn't tell you oh i didn't realize you could have a churner inside and a stone hey up i didn't think they were possible inside i completely take it back May, they will probably look better inside then than outside i will probably do that so yeah you can you can put whatever you want wherever you want it in that sense um and just make the most of it now there are problems with putting things things in and taking them out um so you have to be careful for example i have two doors now and a campfire and a chest if i add another door or even if i want to delete one of the doors i have no idea which one i'm deleting I mean, even sometimes where I've gone, well, it's gone to the bottom. That must be the newest. It isn't. Um, it's really potluck. So if for some reason you decide with your house, you want to start moving things about. Be wary. 
because you might find that you're going to move stuff around and it'll end up in a place you don't want and then you have to delete it and if you delete it because you want you know pernickety you may end up with it sort of deleting the wrong one rather than one you don't want to if you've got two of them so always try to delete the old one and then put the new one in on anything now that gets even harder with doors doors don't upgrade per se you have to destroy a door to put a new one in so if I wanted to upgrade this to an iron door, I'd have to destroy the door on my bench there. There really should be an option to come up and click destroy on the actual thing in my personal opinion. I'd need to destroy the door and then create a new one in the node that would appear on the floor. Um, it would be easier just to allow you to upgrade it. Uh, also, there's no way of repairing doors and I don't know if that's meant to be in the game or not because that would help. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that's the gist of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this house how I want it to be. And then basically show it off to you guys. So that's the gist of how nodes work. You basically go up to them, pick what it is you want to put in. If you have the resources, you click it and off you go. Now the hardest ones to make are anvils. Um, I think that's it really actually. Because you need 12 iron ore to do it and iron ore is really hard to get at the minute in the game you can buy it from merchants so it's not a bad way to just buy as many as you can whenever you see them and you can make it but to make it you're going to need a furnace um i would say to anyone start with a campfire as i've done a chest a bed and probably a well now do you need expanded storage like i haven't got Arguably to start with, yes, but there's no harm deleting it later if you wanted to free up a node. And always try to use a node that can't be used for anything else. So I would probably say maybe do one of these at storage. Um, because you can only do one, two, three, four, five things in here. Um, where do you stick your bed? It doesn't really matter. Um, I have a tendency to put it in this room, but like I say, it really matters. Not one job where you decide to put it. Uh, I will say that the oven often faces the wrong direction. So that's worth thinking about. Um, yeah, if you have a, an oven, um, sometimes instead you think it would face into the room. I've had it where it faced the wall. It's really weird. Um, so it's just worth considering. I would also suggest if you're going to have a chest, have one in here or one in here. Um, you know, I'm obviously I built one, I had to build one sort of straight away in here. There's no harm in that. There's even no harm in having one here. Um, because there's a good chance that if somebody breaks into your house, they might actually just go, well, I'll raid everything out of this chest. They might not press on. They might, but they might not. You know, and you might have some better stuff in here. Or you might, you know, even go, I don't mind the stuff in here being taken. You know, I'm going to put some stuff that someone comes here, they'll get some good stuff keep your best stuff in the back here um but it's up to you you don't have to have a chest out there but you can have multiple chests and that's just worth worth noting um so yeah i'm going to start grading the house uh with what i think i want here and we'll sort of come back when i've done a lot with it which probably will take me some time but there's no point in you watching me upgrade all i'm going to be doing all you need really is wood and um stone so what i'm going to do is running backwards and forwards and farming that no different than if i was on a live server and to be fair i did do it on the live server and i had a house totally upgraded so i will be back when i have done that so we're back and it's nine days later yep it's taken me nine in-game days to do what i have done um, and to be fair with you, this is may seem like a continuous video. It isn't. It's taken me probably several evenings to do this as well, just because um, I needed that time to do it. I, I work and so on and so forth. But we've done it. We have done this. But the fact that it has taken me, for various reasons, a while to do this, um, things such as it was actually uh, bonfire night, so it means lots of fireworks going off, so I couldn't record because they'd all be on the video. Um, shows you the time and effort that goes into doing something like this in a game so the fact that it can be destroyed so quickly as i mentioned earlier isn't great but let's have a look at the house 
So we already had the tier done up to tier four. So what it looked like. We have a guard outside. Is he any use? Nope, not really at all. He, I don't even know what type of guard he is. Um, can I actually equip him with stuff? That's my, that's weird. Uh, okay, I can't really do anything with that dude. So we're gonna open the door. This door, by the way, you can see, is a reinforced iron door, I think, or we, something like that. It's not a gold door. Uh, I could have stuck gold doors on, but it would have taken me longer. And if I'm honest, I think these look nicer. Um, they fit the house better. The, the gold ones are a bit garish and weird looking. So once we go inside, we have these two slots filled. Now, I, on the server I had before my house was wiped, I didn't have these slots filled or this one because one guard is annoying enough. But we've got more of them. These are all light uh, troops, but they don't look any different, I think, to the heavy ones. But we'll see that because I've got a medium one inside. We've made an anvil. This is the hardest thing to make in the game because it takes 12, I think, um, iron ingots to make this so unless you're buying the iron ingots you've got to find them and mining wasn't too bad for me because i'm on an empty server but on a not empty server that's suddenly a consideration and there is iron ore close to here but if you've just got um awful iron ingots the chance uh iron ore the chances of it turning into an ingot are very slim so you need at least like one common and to get common you're gonna to have to go out to the area i'm in right here if you built your house near to those then you've got a lot better ch chance of it happening we're of course probably gonna come across more combat furnace here we go it looks lovely i think this furnace does just here don't you think this helps me smelt down all of my ores into ingots i've got a well over here this well will allow me to take water every i don't know 10 20 minutes or something like that which is cool. It's getting dark, which is annoying, um, but we'll carry on. So over here we have a tannery. This doesn't look quite this cool indoors. It's just that part indoors. That's why I've stuck it out here and it looks cool. We have a farmer over here. This guy every, I don't know, probably 10, 15 minutes again, I say, grows two of these wheat crops, which you can harvest if you have a sickle, and he sells... Um, wheat or wheat seeds which you can plant by coming here and just looking at farmland and boom boom plant i haven't got any on me but that makes wheat not a problem the farmland i did not put down he makes that himself making farmland pointless i don't even know why it's there never make it i have another well as you can see why because i didn't really need to put anything else in and wells are quite good so i put wells in supposedly if you put a tannery on the edges people would climb over your walls so don't do it well doesn't seem to have that issue to it as far as i know because nothing juts out um so i found that i can put the oven and stuff inside the house and it doesn't look quite so weird because at one point i had an oven here and it was just an oven it took up this bit of space and that was it and then over here i had like a churner and over here i had a and it just looked a bit crap so i put it inside so inside we go into the first room um, obviously this, if someone can get to this, as long as they kill the guard in that door and all those guards, they don't have to break any more doors down, they can delete my house here. I've got my cooking pot, I've got some storage space um, that's used here, as you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff in there to keep my house going, I don't even know how much of this actually works. Um, and I've got 50 rather than 25 storage, but once you've made everything, that's kind of pointless. So you could actually destroy that and put something else there if you wanted to. I've got a chest here which basically has all my um, food in it that I cook on the thing over there. And all my iron ingots. And look at all those. Look at all those babies. And they're quite a lot. And they are because I found a place that does quite often give iron ore out. And there's a ton of it. Um... But I'm nowhere near it, so it's such a journey to get there. But other than that, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I'm going to take some food while I'm at it before I die. Um, and we will eat it. So, self-sufficient in that way. So we're going to come through this door. It's not locked again. This is just a normal wooden door. I, again, because I'm on my own server, I'd probably try and make more sturdy doors. But it doesn't matter. So, 
in here we have another one this guy's a medium one i think at one point i had a heavy guy in here uh, on my own server and i don't know how much of a difference it actually made um okay that's reset that wasn't a workbench uh no, it's not a workbench. it wasn't a loom that was a what was that a something else was there um but i can't remember what now it wasn't a chest i thought maybe i'd stuck another chest there but i hadn't but whatever it is so there's an issue has wiped and put that back in and the reason i know it's not is if you look you put that in there it faces the wall and looks stupid so i deleted that but now i have the problem of i have two looms and if i go here i have no idea which loom i need to destroy and that's annoying um Looms do only cost wood, but I haven't got enough wood to just make a new one if I destroy the wrong one. But I now can't think what the hell I had there. I'm hoping I didn't have a chest because it would have had a ton of stuff in it. You know, I've got a way of finding that out because I've got my together a load of cloth. Now that's either in here. No, it is, this is fine. These are these are off walls, by the way. It seems wolves give rare animal pelts pretty much most of the time. These are easy to get, rare wood and rare thread. There's a place you can get that. So um, I'm planning on doing a series of demonstrating all the weapons and armor in the game. So yeah, I've got a mortar and pestle in here. I don't really know why I've got this in here. I kind of went for the feel that if you were ill, you'd be in bed. I've noticed that the bed faces the wrong direction as well. Look, the headboard really should be there if you think about it. Um, I've no idea that face is the wrong way because I think it's pretty much just symmetrical. Um, and I would say you'd have a sack at the back rather than the front. So that feels like it faces the right direction. Uh, so yeah, maybe if you were helping someone who was ill in bed, but not by anything. And you usually have a chest at the back just behind a door or two to keep it safe. So this loom I stuck in after I deleted that one, which is now reinstalled and it faces the right way, etc, etc. This workbench faces the right way because you can see that the uh, vice thing is there at the front. Now we have in here, we have an oven. Um, that, if you put it anywhere but there, faces the wrong way. So if you put it there, it faces the wall that opening that you would put the bread into. You put it here, it faces, no, it faces this wall. You also notice that that dip is the front of the churner, but because the churner looks a certain way, it doesn't really matter, but that is technically the front of the churner there. And it's the same over here. That is technically where stuff comes out when you're, um, so really the it's facing that way. But again, I'll forgive that. So this is sort of my cooking area. And it's a shame there's no way to put any sort of lighting inside your house. There used to be, but it didn't work, so I guess that's why they took it out. Um, but this room works quite nicely for a, um, a, a... My house online that got deleted, I actually had like a, a tannery and things like that in here. Um, but no, I think this works as a little cooking area and stuff like that. You could not bother with the churner, um, because I, um, I can't get a hold of milk anyway in the game, so kind of pointless yeah i really can't remember what was here i think maybe i put a chest in i think maybe i put a third chest in here but i didn't put anything in it but for some reason the game has forgotten it and wiped it it doesn't really matter if i'm perfectly honest i'm not planning on doing a lot with this because it's a main server and i don't play on this for fun because it's pointless um so yeah, I mean, that's the house. That's that's all what you can do with it. Uh, you can have multiples of these if you wanted. You can have more chests. There's not really any point to having multiple versions of, you know, having two looms, like I've got for some reason, or two of those. There is, you know, a couple of campfires. Maybe if you, like, had some food stored in the back, might be useful, but really there's no point. You might aesthetically want to do that. You might go, oh, well, a campfire here, so it looks like I'm warming my bed. And But besides that, there's no real point. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. Um, 
And I feel that that was a a chest. And for some reason, the game has not remembered it. Or, optionally, maybe I just deleted what was here and it was just a node. I've known stuff would come back if it, you leave a node there. But I've had it before with wells. I've had a well outside and I've deleted it and put something else there and the wells come back. So that's another issue that seems to happen. Occasionally, not all the time, not very often, stuff comes back that shouldn't be there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete this loom. Now this would be easier if you could just go into the loom and go delete. That would be so much easier than using this stupid table. Or if you clicked on it, maybe something like you click on it and it would highlight the one that you want to delete. Um, or something like that. I have to pick one at random. I'm going to pick the wrong one. I know I am. Do that one. Yep. <laughs> What are the chances? You'd think the most recent would be at the bottom here, but it's not. So it's just to destroy that loom as well. I wonder if I log off the server and log back on, if they'd actually reinstall themselves. Be interesting to see that. I might even try it actually. Um, anyway, so there you go. I have, oh, let's see. Let's just quickly look. Is there anything that could have gone here that I had? No, it, it would. I think that was a chest. I think I made another chest here, and that's that was the loom. Fair enough. Yeah. So, making a house. That's it. That's a done house. That's done and dusted. These you just need to get a peasant um, contract from a earl at a town centre place that I showed you in the video where you get the land contract from in the first place. Everything else. Just get that out of the way. Everything else is used, made with wood, iron ingots, or uh, stone ore. Um, that's it. That's all you need. Um, or wheat. I think some of them might need wheat. Anyway, yeah. Um, or money. Literally physical cash. Gold doors, for example, don't use gold ingots. I thought they would. I even assume they would based on like probably put one in. Uh, but it's iron ingots. They, they need iron ingots, wood, and money about 12,000 money um so yeah so this is this is it this is the house i've done the house it is finitoed which is all fine dandy and lovely so that's it for this video thank you for watching and houses are not hard to make if you find the right place as long as you find a place that has wood close by and somewhere of getting stone ore the rest of it you can kind of do later so yeah they're fun to make they are fun to make and i loved laying it out how i want it and i feel it, it feels lived in you know i've got my own little guy there I, I, I hate the guards because if someone comes around they just start ranting their heads off also if you have a bounty they talk to you like they're going to arrest you but they don't or fight you yeah um but yeah they, they are fun to do it's just frustrating when they suddenly go and i hate the fact that they can be deleted you know like I say, I had three chests in there. If someone wants to come in, bash these doors down and steal everything I've got, I'd have been like, yeah, fair enough. And to be fair, I had it once where there was a bug where all my doors were unlocked. And I came up to my house and I was like, what the hell? Why are my doors open? And I ran in and I had a chest here and someone had stolen all the stuff in the chest or loads of the best stuff. And there was a chest in here and they'd done the same here. Um, but it didn't bother me as much it was a bug that bothered me but you know fair enough i didn't lose the house you know i just lost the stuff and yeah it took me a long time to collect that stuff but so be it um so yeah deleting houses just doesn't impress me at all so that's it i'm done in this one i've showed you the house how to get one and how to build one up they aren't that hard to do but they are hard to keep if someone wants to be annoying and destroy your houses uh, try to always pick a house that you can't jump into because although they like I say this sticks out here you can't use that to jump in um try to make sure you don't stick anything on the edges that could be used to jump in uh, nothing i've got on the edges does uh and yeah you will get some houses this one you can't but you might be able to like run and jump at the wall um and if there's a slight raised bank or something people can leap into your house if you've got no guards that's one less door they have to take out and bang your house is gone um so that's it that's a house hope you like it i like it it's my little house 
the server's going to get a wipe supposedly uh, this coming Friday which is the 11th of November so all this might go because it's my own server I'm not entirely sure but anyway it doesn't really matter because obviously it's the game that's been updated uh, I'm not too fussed in some ways although I'm a little bit annoyed because I collected all that stuff and I wanted to show off loads of different weapons and armors I'm going to try and do that still but I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be anyway thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this and found it somewhat useful um, and hopefully I'll see you maybe at some point in the Black Death thank you for watching Game Bug out.